how to do this wave effect through section to section uh, in the most simple way. So the first thing we want to do is we want to understand how something like this is built. And in this case, we have one section for this uh, column, okay, for these two columns. Then we have another section just for the background, then another section for the next uh, pieces of information. Okay, so we can clone this and have all the things that we want here. Okay, so we want to have uh, two sections independently. Now, the first thing we want is we want to set up a base, a solid color for the background. In this case, it's going to be this one. If I change it, you are going to see that it's not doing a perfect transition, right? So that's why we are going to use one specific color for this case, which is going to be this one, right? So in case you, you, you don't know which one it is, we are just going to go ahead and click here and copy the, um, the code, okay? And that's pretty much about it for the first step. Now, the second step is how to actually build the image. For that, I'm going to use um, Adobe Illustrator to, to build it. And I'm going to create an artboard with 140 pixels of height, right? So what you want to do is you want to have 1920, at least 1920 pixels of width and 140 pixels of height. Okay, that's going to be the ones I'm going to use. So the first step of creating something like this is you want to create the shape. So in order for me to create a shape, I'm going to simply draw it as I want them to be with the brush tool. Now I have the first one, okay? And then I just need to fill the, the wave, okay, with a specific color. So I'm going to use the pen tool and I'm going to create the rest of the shape. So now I can simply invert this and then change the color to that specific one. And now I have the first wave. Okay. The second thing you want is we want to create a secondary um, wave. We want to send it to back and we want to change the color slightly. So now here we have the range of the color. You can change it slightly as you want and then hit OK. And now there you go. You have that one. If you want to create a more dynamic one, you, sim you simply drag it a little bit to the left and make sure it's fitting the, the canva. And now there you go. All right. What you need to do is you need to export this picture, file, export, export as, and then you want to export as SVG, for example, or PNG, okay? Example three, and then export. And then we're gonna go back to click funnels, okay? And what we're gonna do is, uh, we are gonna uh, go to the background image, we're gonna upload a new one. So in this case, it's gonna be the example three to six, and then hit open. We are going to wait just a little bit. We've uploaded it. Now we double click it. And now we have the effect of the, um, the wave. Okay. So now the only thing you need to do is you need to set the bottom to be a little bit bigger. For example, in this one is 100 because we also have uh, 45 and 20. And we also have the 20 on top. Okay. So if you wanted to make this, what we would do is we would select the image. We would add image just like that okay now we would go for um, full width then we would set this to a hundred then in this case we can set up the in this add a row and in this row we add a little bit more to the bottom we would remove this one and now it will fit and every time that we adjust to mobile it would look good either way Right, so that's how you create these kinds of effects. Hope you like it and see you in the next video.